All right, guys, welcome to episode four of So You Want to Be a Trapper. Uh, it's, I think, September 25th now. Uh, season's getting closer. I've been meaning to get a few episodes out on this, but it's just been so hot and trying to get all my normal trapping gear ready. It's It's been a while, but we're back here today. Um, I'm showing you the types of anchoring systems for these traps. You know, we talked about the kinds of traps, how to use them, how to set, set them, how to modify them. Uh, those traps aren't going to do you any good unless they're anchored to something. So these are the type of anchoring systems uh, that are pretty much most common anymore. This is called a stakealizer. Uh, this is going to be for your 220 conibears. Um, if you're using them, uh, I'll once again add, you know, if you're a very amateur trapper and just starting off, conibears might not be for you for your first year. Uh, they're kind of dangerous, but they are a very effective and efficient trap, but uh, I'd highly use caution with them. The second thing I'm going to show you is the half inch rebar washer top. Uh, this type of stake is what I would recommend for all you beginners out there. Uh, I'm not sure what the prices are on them. I'm going to have to get on Funky's page and take a look, but that is what I would suggest. Uh, you know, it's kind of an old school type set. Uh, not a whole lot of people use rebar anymore, but, but it is a very effective set uh, stake, especially for people just starting off. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the uh, earth anchor set. Uh, this happens to be a pogo anchor. Um, if you're just starting off, like I said, and you don't know, maybe trapping is not for you. You just don't know yet. You want to try it. Uh, I would not invest in this system your first year until you know that you're going to really enjoy trapping. It's for you. You're passionate about it. And then you can invest some money. Uh, you know, this, this is the driver for the pogos. Um, I'm going to show you how all this stuff works here in a second, but I'm just showing you the, the anchors now. Um, that's what that's my tool of the trade. That's what I go to. These earth anchors, they've got all kinds of them. Um, Berkshire anchors, wolf fangs, uh, duckbill, Iowa disposable. There's all kinds of different ends on this, but the basic concept is the same. is cable that attaches to your trap and attaches to, to a device that goes into the ground. Um, Last thing I'm going to show you is the uh, T-bar stake out of rebar. Um, this will work well for you, but I advise caution with it. Um, I'm going to show you why here in a second. But if you have some of these laying around or, you know, maybe you had a grandpa that trapped and he's got some of these, you know, they'll work, but you just have to be cautious about it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how these work. All right, here, guys. First, we're going to talk about the... Uh, that stakealizer that I just showed you. Um, you got your springs compressed on your 220s and you got the safeties on them, which we discussed earlier. Now how this is gonna go, the gaps in between here are going to go right in between the jaws. So when you compress this, it's gonna be locked in there. See, it's already locked in. Um, I don't even have the trap set yet, so you gotta be kinda careful with this stuff. But now I'm gonna go ahead, always watch your safeties too. You notice this one fell off. When you're compressing these things, always, always watch this stuff. Now I'll go ahead and set this. It'll be a little tough to do because of that pressure. And there we go, that trap is set. Safeties are still on, on a stakealizer. Now I'm gonna show you how this would, would go in the ground. All right guys, so I got the stakealizer in the ground. I've got it through the loop on the end of the trap. I um, mean, see the metal loop? Don't mind the cable. Um, like I said, I use the earth anchors. Uh, I just didn't take time to take this off, but you've got through the loop on the actual trap itself. Now, you always have this in the ground first before you um, set these things, especially for a beginner. I know some guys that can put the 220 on the stakealizer and then set it. I would highly recommend, not recommend doing that as a beginner. Um, I just showed you how this thing goes on the trap though. So we'll get it set up the way we want it. Get our jaws through one side, through the other side. Compress and set. Um, ideally, you're going to want this 
probably only three to four inches off the ground, but I'm on pretty hard ground here and I didn't want to bring a hammer out here. Um, these things will spin on you a little bit. When you get it lower where it should be, you'll tuck these springs down and they'll hit the dirt and that'll keep this thing from wanting to spin on you. Uh, really, really good staking system. Works really well, catch a lot of coon with it. But pretty simple really. Uh, you can pick these up in most of your trapping places. Um, I know Funky's carries a few, but anyway, uh, we're gonna move on and show you the other anchors for the uh, other traps that you're gonna be setting. Okay, next up we have the uh, washer top uh, rebar stake. Uh, this is what I'd recommend if you're using the one and a halves and dog proofs, which is also what I recommend for a beginner. Uh, very effective, very good set. Um, what you'll do with this, you know, you literally just put the end of the trap through the rebar, hammer it on down. Um, this, I wouldn't go all the way completely down. You know, it's got needs to be able to swivel. Um, you can see that swivel still functioning no matter where I go with it. Uh, really effective, very, very simple concept here, guys. While I'm on it, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, key bar. All right. Now the T-bar works the same concept. Um, the only issue I have with the T-bar, and I'll explain this. If you get that all the way down, you need to get this all the way down because this T-bar, they'll actually get wrapped up on it. Um, and that's going to eliminate your swiveling actions. And if a trap can't swivel, sorry about that. If a trap can't swivel, you're gonna lose that animal or cause that animal harm. And that's not what we want as trappers. So um, you can use these T-bars, but you need to hammer them all the way down, which is going to eliminate that first swivel, which is important then you have to have this inline swivel. Uh, very, very important. Now with that all the way down, it can move freely and that's what we want. Uh, so just watch yourself if you get into the T-bars. The um, not what I would recommend, but like I said, if that's what you got to work with, that's what you use. Uh, next I'll show you my earth anchor. Um, basically the same thing. These anchors can be attached uh, by S-hooks or quick links, there's many ways. I just run a big loop and half hitch it. But anyway, we're just talking about how these things work today. Um, if I can find my driver, which I know I have here. Now for the, like, the pogo anchors, they've got this slot right here. I can get it on camera, right there. That washer will slide into that and you push it down and then you just push it into the ground. Um, these are definitely kind of the new modern method. Uh, very effective, very light to carry into places. But at the same time, you're gonna spend some money. Um, these cable anchors, you know, they're gonna run you probably about a buck 50 a piece right now. The driver's gonna be, oh, about 30 bucks, 35 bucks. And a lot of these times you can't get these out of the ground. You know, they make certain tools to help with it. Um, notice I didn't put this all the way down all the way like I'd like to, because if I did, I'd never get this out. Um, these anchors, if I put this in dry ground right now, my uh, 750 brute force four wheelers will not pull it out of the ground. Uh, it'll break the cable first. I think this is like, oh, what is it? 330 seconds cable. So it's like 400 or 500 pounds breaking strength, I think. It's crazy, but it's gonna be hard enough just pulling that out of the ground. But anyway, guys, uh, those are your basic um, anchor systems. Anyway guys, those are your basic anchor systems. Uh, you know, I run with the Pogos just because of, you know, I've grown my line pretty good and it's effective and it's become cost efficient for me to do so. Um, the, nothing wrong with the stakelizer or the rebar. Um, if I was a suggestion for you guys, you know, if you've got 
oh, say three or six one and a halves, as well as three or six Duke DPs, which is what I'd recommend for you guys to get. I would be getting a dozen of these. I would be adding them to the cart when you make your order. Uh, definitely, definitely something worth having. And you gotta anchor your traps. Uh, that's just bottom line. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's anchoring for you. Um, we're gonna be going out, and next I'll probably be showing you some coon locations on where to catch coon and, and how to make some sets. So, things are getting exciting.